but Jesus is talking to us through the Course in Miracles, and every time I read it, it's just such a transformation in my, in my attitude, and I realize I really believe this. this I, I want to follow this for the rest of my life. And so I realize no matter what kind of darkness or ego thoughts I'm in, um, there's always the opportunity for, for all that to be turned around. Um, just by asking the Holy Spirit to help me see things differently, or picking up the book and reading. Yes, I saw so much devotion in Lisa. I had a duty to, one of my tasks was to come and clean her area every day to check on supplies and clean the area. And every day she was so full of joy. And she always said, this is a devotion. This doesn't come from just leaning back and doing nothing. This is the result of 15 years of devotion, following this path and meditation, prayer, and really tuning into the Holy Spirit and letting go of the ego. And I saw that the result of all that devotion was such joy. And, and it was such an example every time that I saw that. She would just say, this is pure joy, this is pure happiness, this is the way. This is, I'm so glad that I, I continued, she said. And so I saw that example of devotion and always uh, being in the joy. Another, another example of devotion I saw with Eric, the leader of the interns, I would see that he always, before a meeting or when he was asked a question, he would go inward. He closed his eyes, even in the middle of a meeting, and just went inward to pray. And, and to, to see what the, the guidance was. And that's an example of devotion, never forgetting that the Holy Spirit is there always to be asked. And the Holy Spirit is there to give us guidance.